Good morning, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to discuss a problem on sampling distribution of sample means. So I'll share my computer screen with you. <clears throat> An elevator can carry a maximum number of 16 passengers with a weight limit of 2,500 pounds. Assume the average weight of a passenger is 150 pounds with a standard deviation of 27 pounds. Assume the distribution of the weights of the passengers is normal. Suppose a random sample of size 16 will use this elevator. Question part A. What is the mean weight of the sampling distribution of X bar? X bar means mean weight. Part B. What is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of X bar? Which is mean weight. Part C. What mean weight for a sample of 16 people will result in the total weight exceeding the weight limit of 2,500 pounds. And part D, what is the probability that a random sample of 16 people will exceed the weight limit? So let's work on each part separately. So solution. What is the mean weight of the sampling distribution of X bar? So x bar on the horizontal axis, that is in this case mean weights and probability on the vertical axis and we have a bell shape curve. This is the sampling distribution of x bar, of x bar. The center where the peak is the highest, okay, this center is the center is mu x bar and by central limit clt or central limit theorem mu x bar is equal to mu okay so mu x bar is equal to mu and mu is already given to us is 150. So that is the answer to part A. Okay. So the center, this one, mu x bar is equal to 150. Part B. What is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of x bar? Again, by central limit theorem, sigma x bar which is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the sampling distribution sigma x bar is equal to sigma divided by square root of n again this comes from central limit theorem, limit theorem. So therefore in this case sigma x bar, my sigma population standard deviation is 27 and my sample size is 16. So it is square root of 16 which is 27 divided by 4 is equal to 6.75. So sigma x bar is 6.75, okay, mu x bar is 150. This is my sampling distribution of x bar. Let me move up a little bit. Okay, and I'll also change the color of the ink. So part C, part C says, what mean weight for a sample of 16 people will result in the total weight exceeding the weight limit of 2,500 people? Weight limit 
is equal to 2500 pounds and my sample size n sample size is equal to 16 so what mean weight so x bar is sample mean weight mean weight is equal to total weight divided by sample size which is 2500 divided by 16 okay and that will result in 1000 uh, sorry 156.25 Okay, so if I create some space, so the mean weight limit sample, you might say sample mean weight limit is 156.25 for a sample of size 16. Any mean weight greater than 156.25 is no good. It might result in the collapse of the elevator, okay? In part C, I mean, yeah, but we just did part C. So part D, they ask, what is the probability that a random sample of 16 will exceed the weight limit, okay? Okay, let me go back and read it. Okay, if I go back, part D, what is the probability that a random sample of 16 people will exceed the weight limit? Okay, so that's part D. So in part D, they basically want us to find out what is the probability of X bar greater than 156. 0.25 okay so let me create some more space and cre redraw the sampling distribution again just for you to help uh, for to show you what is going on here so this is the sampling distribution of x bar bell shaped distribution the center is mu x bar this is mu x bar so that mu x bar we have determined is equal to mu is equal to 150 and sample size n is equal to 16 so sigma x bar is sigma divided by square root of n which came out as uh, sigma was 27 divided by square root of 16 is 27 divided by 4 is 6.75 we already determined these two so the center is 150 now we want to find out what is the probability x bar is greater than 156.25 so if this is 150 156.25 is greater than 150 so it will be somewhere on the right of the center so this may be 156.25 uh, let me erase that this one I'll erase. Maybe I should uh, use another color pen to make it look better. Okay. So this green point that I marked out over here, let's make it red. And that is 156.25. Okay. This point, let me write this out in a better way. Okay. So this one this point on the horizontal axis is 156.25 the center over here is 150 okay this is the center as we pointed out before so i want to find out what is the probability x bar is greater than 156.25 that is what is the area under the sampling distribution to the right of 156.25 so if I can create some space, 
probability of x great x bar greater than 156.25 okay is the area under the normal curve under the let's say under the sampling distribution sampling distribution curve which is a normal curve bell shaped that is to the right of 156.25 right of 156.25 okay and uh, if i go back to the green okay so this curve actually extends to a very large number on the right so it's this like this okay and this large number usually in the calculator if i erase this and uh, maybe i should write this in a nicer way okay, i'll come back to that okay so this is a very large number on the right which is usually written in the calculator as one followed by 99 zeros so the information that i erased is mu x bar is equal to mu is equal to 150 which is the center over here this value okay and i'm on the right of the mean part that i want the area to the right of 156.25 so I will use my TI-84 calculator. So I am going to use TI-84 calculator. Okay. So let's go back to the red ink. So we press the second button in TI-84. And then the verse button which is in the third row. And then I scroll down to normal cdf which is number two and the verse key okay and okay so my lower my lower boundary i'm starting from 156.25 okay so my lower boundary is 156.25 my upper is a very large number on the right which is one how do i get the e i press the second button so one is here then second button then the comma button where is the comma button on top of the seven button this gives me the small capital e then i type in 99 this means one followed by 99 zeros it is a very large number my mean is 150 like it's shown on the diagram and sigma is equal to 6.75 and then i put the cursor on pest whenever i pest i have to and hit enter twice okay so uh, let's uh, do that calculation so second then worst key then number two normal cdf my lower i'm starting from 156.25 which is the x bar above this x bar the probability is high that the elevator will collapse okay my upper is 1e99 because i'm on the right of 156.25 i go to a very large number on the right my mean is 150 my standard deviation is 6.75 okay and then i go and paste and hit enter twice and that answer is so probability x bar greater than 156.25 is quite high is 0 0.1772 okay so there is a 17.72% chance that the mean weight will be greater than 156.25. Remember, that is the limit. If I exceed that, the elevator may collapse. 17.72% chance of that. Uh, let me just write this all clearly over here. Okay. So, I will make it less crowded. Let's make it less crowded. Okay. So, the first I will go to the green key. Okay. 
So this is the okay distribution of x. Oops, let me erase that. Mm -hmm. So this is the sampling distribution of x bar. Sampling distribution of x bar. Of x bar. Okay. So that means the center. Okay. Is mu x bar. Is equal to mu. Is equal to 150. And sigma x bar. Which is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. Is 6.75. Now I go back to my red pen. And I... So the center is 150, but I want the area to the right of 156.25, which is on the right of 150. So basically, I want to find this area. That's what I'm calculating. And the probability of the mean weight exceeding 156.25 is quite high, is 17.72%. Okay. What is the message? Do not get into a crowded elevator because the mean weight might exceed the mean weight uh, by a large amount. Okay, uh, and then the probability is quite high and it might collapse. Okay, so that's it for today. If you have any question or comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please uh, do not forget to give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. If you like this video, please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll be next, back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.